This video is to briefly discuss the new ArcPad camera that's built into ArcPad 10. Um, this will show up whenever you're collecting a feature of any kind and use the built-in camera functionality in ArcPad. Let's see, I've got to turn the edit form back on from my last video. Sorry about that. Okay, so I create a new thing, whatever it is. And then on the picture page, when I press the camera button, now instead of using the default Windows mobile camera or whatever, it uses the ArcPad camera, which is just a new, uh, a new camera interface. And you notice that it came up much, much faster than used to be the case. I happen to be using a Juno SB. Um, it used to take about 60 seconds to load the camera. Uh, Trimble improved that somewhat with a patch, but it still wasn't very fast. Um, but now with this ArcPad camera, um, it loads that interface very, very quickly. Now if I look at options here, I have uh, options for which orientation to use, um, which button to use to take, you know, to take the picture, as well as an option for which camera to select. So if I have a device that has more than one camera, probably something like a tablet or something like that, I can select which camera, and also an option to select which um, which resolution. Now you notice that it defaults to 160 by 120, which shows here in the um, in the uh, title bar. And on the Juno SB, it doesn't let me choose a different resolution. This happens to be a bug, an issue with ArcPad and or with the Juno drivers, Juno camera drivers. So normally you'd see that um, list uh, a number of choices for you. Now if I go back to ArcPad options, underneath camera, I have my choice here of which camera to use. ArcPad camera is the default now. Um, Windows Mobile camera is still available and if I use that option and then go back and grab a point feature, when I use the picture functionality, now we get to see the normal behavior of the Juno SB and it'll take a good long time for it to load. But on the other hand, I would be able to adjust the resolution of the picture that's taken. So in any case, the speed at which cam uh, devices take pictures in ArcPad should be greatly improved. And also, the interface will be consistent across different devices. So if I have ArcPad 10 running on a Juno, it'll be the same interface as on a Nomad, as on a Yuma, as on a mobile phone, as on an iPad, etc. So that should help with customers that have um, multiple different devices. Okay, so you notice how long that took and then it also switched me over to a different interface. So, but here I could adjust resolution that's the camera ArcPad camera interface um, in ArcPad 10